Well, this morning I'm uh, up in the old shop. I've got a fire going in the wood furnace here. I don't work much up here in the winter anymore. Uh, I think this is only the second fire I've had in the furnace this this uh, this season. But uh, oh, we've got a uh, winter storm warning in effect for my area right now. <laughs> By the way, this is April the 18th, uh, but it will do whatever it does outside. Today I've got the uh, WD-45 in here and I have decided to uh, put a three-point hitch conversion on this tractor. Uh, my 871 Ford, uh, the select to speed transmission is getting pretty unreliable in that. So I need something that I can uh, use on my eight foot uh, rotary hoe and my cyclone cedar so i've decided to get my wd set up here and of course i'm going to make it myself uh what i'm going to do i've got uh i got these brackets made here i'm going to bolt them uh, on those two holes you can kind of see there just below where the uh where the uh, drawbar arm goes on there. I'm going to bolt those on. Then I'm going to, uh, once these are on the tractor, I will put this piece of uh, two inch by quarter inch sidewall steel tubing up there. Get that centered. Tack it in place. Then take these uh, these end pieces that I made up. I will probably weld the nut to the back side there. Slip these inside, weld them on there, and uh, put the lift arms onto those. I've got the, <laughs> I actually robbed the lift arms off of my 871, as long as I'm not gonna be using that on this this year. I thought I'd, uh, might as well use those. Then I will, uh, I'll fabricate some sort of a uh, some sort of a link between the lift arm and the uh, the arms on the tractor here, and do something for a top link. So that's what I'm doing today. We'll uh, we'll get started and start uh, start putting some of this stuff together. This is why we're not working on the combine today. Yes, it's April 18th, and we are under a winter storm warning. Uh, the forecast is for four to eight inches of snow, but you know there's nothing we can do about that. I've got other things to do. That's why I'm in here working on the WD today. So I've got my bracket all welded up. That turned out pretty well. Right now I think I'm going to trudge back over to the house and have some lunch, let this cool off, and then we'll uh, keep going on this project. All right, I've got my three-point arms all mounted on the WD. I've got my bracket in place. Uh, I'll get down here so you can get a little bit of a look at it and see what I did bolting it onto that bracket there that the uh, arms of the drawbar bolt to. For my uh, links between the Alice Chalmers arms and the other arms, I just went with a really simple a uh, piece of angle iron. I double knotted a bolt on the bottom down there, and I, I made this. Uh, I made this out of a piece of steel and a five ace bolt. So, clamp the old snap coupler clamps there. I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. I should be able to take these arms on and off really quickly, so I don't have to have them on there all the time. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do now is come up with a uh, a bracket for my top link. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking out the door right now. I'm kind of wishing that I would have uh, hunted up the raw material I need to make my top link mount before I got buried underneath all this snow, but that's okay. I, I'll probably do that another day. So that's probably all for this video. I'll probably uh, make a video sometime of the three-point hitch on the WD-45.